Good afternoon from Kuala Lumpur here in Malaysia everybody. Exactly one year ago I visited Malaysia for the very first time. I spent three days in Kuala Lumpur and checked out some of the famous sites here but I didn't film anything and that's gonna change as we spend the next couple of weeks here in this amazing country. We've got the Petronas Twin Towers at our doorstep. This is my hotel that I'm staying at and it's only $50 per night. I booked it for a week and I have an amazing room, amazing views in one of the most iconic parts of the city. This all lights up at the night time and it's absolutely beautiful. But imagine this, just swimming along, doing your laps as you look out at one of the most iconic landmarks here in Malaysia. So as I said, I'm here for the next couple of weeks and I don't have an exact plan. I think I'm gonna be heading over to Penang in a, in a few days. I'm gonna be going over to the east coast of Malaysia and then over to Borneo in the city of Sabah. But for now, I'm here in KL and uh, I'm gonna bring you along for my very first day here in this city. Well, the first time that we're actually filming something. Let's go check it out, everybody. Okay, thank you very much. I need to check out. Okay, okay. That's okay. 118. Very good, thank you, sir. So this building has 53 floors. That's where the swimming pool was and has an amazing gym, sauna area up the top. Uh, and I'm pretty high up there. I'm on 46 as well. So what am I in? 4607. So as I mentioned, this was booked on Airbnb. It was uh, just over $50 per night, 51 US dollars per night for the week. And in terms of value for money, I don't think I've ever had anywhere that is better than this. I'll show you guys the room shortly, but just consider like we're in a dead center of town. We've got views of the Twin Towers. We're all in the areas that people want to be exploring here in Kuala Lumpur. And uh, I'll show you guys the place. So to start everything off, you're walking into the kitchen. Nice little area here if you decide to be doing some cooking, heating up your meals. I arrived last night and got a nice steak from Samba, which was pretty good, just on grab. Uh, that's the really good thing about being here in Malaysia and a lot of parts of Southeast Asia is the affordability of grab, ordering your food and getting it delivered right to your doorstep. But before we go any further, I'll give you guys kind of the view of what it's like here. So walking into the living room area, got this nice dining table here, got everything that you need in terms of the living room. So got a nice couch. The TV, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with this film here, but uh, somebody's been playing around uh, with this. I don't really watch TV, so uh, it's not gonna be an issue for me, but this is a very nice area just to chill out and separate your working space from the actual place that you sleep, which is a completely separate room. And I'm gonna close it for now, just so we don't give you a sneak peek. But uh, this is the view. So the twin towers that I was just showing you are basically just over there. We're just missing out on the view here, but we still have an amazing view of the rest of the city. I think that's like a, a graveyard down there. I've been looking at that this morning, just wondering what, what on earth is that? But yeah, it's a cemetery. <laughs> but yeah, look how high up we are, everybody. And we got these massive glass windows here opening up the entire view to the city. But it's just absolutely gorgeous, just looking out of there. And then coming from the living room, we have the actual bedroom so originally when i arrived here late last night they had two swans but obviously i had a shower but i left one just for aesthetic purposes for this video so swan you've done your job now you can now be a towel that i use in the bathroom and uh yeah as i said living room separate to the bedroom and we got a nice opening up here for the bedroom over to the same view that i was sharing with you guys before nice little workstation there to get all the work done, upload all the videos, edit them all, and do what is necessary. But yeah, bed, super nice, comfy pillows, and then we have the bathroom, which is actually like super spacious. Now both of these doors, this my suitcase is there at the moment, so it's blocking it, but they actually like slide out, so you can open it from this side as well. A little bit of, oh, my suitcase is stuck. There we are. So you can open up all that into the, uh, so you can have access to the other area but that's just a cool feature super um convenient 
that's the thing with uh, like Malaysia, very um, convenient to live in. A lot of things are like suited for tourists and expats and people that are living here and working here. So the places that you can rent on Airbnbs are just like really perfect for the style that I want at least when I'm working online and traveling around the world. But as I got distracted there, let's get back into the bathroom. So nice little vanity there with all the, uh, the sink and everything. Cool shower there. We even got the, the rain shower uh, f feature where you can change up all into there. But yeah, plenty of uh, soaps and stuff like that because I did say I'm staying here seven days. So I got one for each day, but yeah, super nice shower. And then my favorite part is the toilet. And unfortunately, this, is, this could be a disaster, but they haven't made up for it. There is no bum gun, everybody, but there is a different feature that I don't think I've ever seen on a toilet or at least seen on other videos uh, of me reviewing toilets around the world. But basically, this is the toilet. Got our poo brushes there, <laughs> but the bum gun, usually it's like attached here and it's a jet that you spray, uh, but they have something else. This is called the, the eco washer and it actually shoots out from underneath. So you don't even have to use your hand to get up under there. It's just all, uh, and if I do this, is this gonna shoot out at me? Oh, well, one way to find out. Oh, look at this, it's coming out. And then you can just imagine that your butt's right there. <laughs> and it, oh no, oh, all right, all right, get that. <laughs> it's just like an alien prod, it just extends out. Um, but yeah, super convenient. Oh, all right, I'm making a mess close it all that up but the bum gun or the eco jet is a pretty good feature here in the room and then lastly we'll do a quick little bed test everybody as always got to review the bed and I did sleep here last night so got to be transparent with you I already have an idea of how the bed is feeling and it is a little bit hard but it's not one of those beds that is just like concrete it has a little bit of kind of sponginess a little bit of foaminess in there and I did have a really good sleep last night, especially with the pillows. The pillows make up for it. They're super comfortable as well. But uh, yeah, this is where I am for the next week, everybody. Live in luxury at this $50 a night Airbnb in the W residence, one of the most iconic places here in Kuala Lumpur. They have a big hotel uh, part of the building and then they have these kind of uh, apartments that are for more longer term stays but absolutely beautiful out here in Kuala Lumpur but let's go and explore the city everybody it's time to get our first real thoughts here in Kuala Lumpur Malaysia let's do it Let's go. So we're out on the main area now. So as I was saying, this is the hotel. One of the, like, the biggest buildings <laughs> or residential buildings here in uh, Kuala Lumpur. And actually Kuala Lumpur is uh, home to the second tallest building in the world. It's still being built. But when I was coming in from the airport last night, I could see it. It was skyrocketing over the rest of the buildings and towers here. Uh, and obviously it's uh, just falling behind the Burj Khalifa, but we're walking to the kind of the base of the Twin Towers at the moment. A lot of people are getting photos there, chilling out, and it's a beautiful viewpoint uh, for the Twin Towers. And you'll get a nice little peak of it here. Look at them just <laughs> towering over the rest of the city. And they're just such a gorgeous piece of architecture. But let's get on over there. All right, here we go. Entering the area here. He's just sitting in the bush. I think there's a lot of people, like those guys there, that are actually paying uh, to like get photos done. So you'll see a lot of people like with actual like lights and stuff like that. I think they charge a couple of ringgit to get a photo in front of the towers, but look at that. So awesome. But yeah, people are just chilling out here. <laughs> Look at these guys getting their photos. I don't think you're quite in line as a love heart, guys. Yeah, get 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 higher. But wow. 
insane piece of architecture. It is actually the tallest uh, twin tower in the world and it stands out. I remember my dad maybe like 15 or 20 years ago when I was a kid, he flew to Malaysia on a business trip and he bought me back a little keychain of these towers. So I've known about this for a very long time. Anyways, let's go out and explore. So I'm currently walking through KLCC Park, uh, which is an amazing part of town, very similar to something like New York, where considering the amount of buildings and the kind of urban cityscape, they've actually built like, I think 50 hectares or 50 acres of uh, parkland that you can walk through. So I have to walk through this area to get into the next part of the city that I'm gonna be kind of spending the rest of the afternoon in. Uh, book it to Bintang, which is very popular for street food, street markets, all that kind of stuff. But it's amazing just having all this kind of like super green space in the middle of an urban city like Kuala Lumpur. But nice little uh, swimming area over here. And I think if we keep walking over that way, we'll get to our next destination, Bukit Bintang. Maybe we'll get a Bintang beer while we're there. What are these? What is this? They're everywhere. Is it... Why are they... Are they... Oh, I think they're lights. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> I thought it was some revolutionary thing for bikes or something like that. But they're just lights. Now from the few days that I've spent here in Kuala Lumpur in the past and also today, it's given me a lot of vibes like Dubai, but even better. And I think it simply comes down to the one reason of it being not filled with expats and there's still that local touch to life. Dubai, I think 90, 90% of the, uh, the community there are not locals. So it's a lot of like expats going over there to work. Uh, but here you still have those areas and those places where you can still get a touch of the Malaysian culture. And it's so cool having the luxury just like that there. It's also very affordable, like I showed with my $50 a night Airbnb. And uh, you get all the luxury involved. And here's the dune buggy. No, the private buggy. I was hoping I might be able to get a lift on there. But let's keep on walking over here. All right, so here we are at Bukit Bintang and this is the pavilion. Now this area is basically the Times Square of Malaysia. So much traffic, so many people walking around and uh, all the designer brands and everything that you can imagine are in that pavilion area uh, and this is one of the most popular places where people come and we're going to be exploring around here now just up ahead I believe around 200 meters away is a food street so we're going to be going there eating some of the local delicacies and uh, getting now fix in for the day so that's just up ahead let's get over there now Really? Out of everywhere you can do it. You have to do it in the middle of the road. Blocking all the traffic. <laughs> Anyways, we're here at the uh, the food street and it wasn't as busy as I thought it would be. I think it, maybe it's a night nighttime thing. But there are a couple of stalls around. We've got fresh fruit. we got a uh, durian, I think. There, all kinds of things and little snacks and stuff like that. So. We'll have a little roam around, see what we uh, get ourselves into, and see if we can have a quick little bite to eat. From Australia? Yes. You are here to buy? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I have my camera. Oh, Vlogging. You going to Bangladesh? Yeah. Aye. Are you Bengali? Yes. Oh, very good to meet you. What's your name? My name is Hussein. Hussein. I see you are uh, YouTube. Uh, yeah. Uh, I follow. Thank you very much. <laughs> Are you living I in... Yeah, uh, I have been look at uh, your video. You go in <laughs> Bangladesh, you eat, you go in hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, Cox's Bazaar. You cricket. Yeah, yeah, yeah in, uh, in Dhaka. <laughs> Are you living in KL? Kuala Lumpur? Yes. You're living? Yeah. When does this street open? Uh, night time? Night time, night time, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Ah, 2, 2, 2 p.m., 3 p.m. Yeah. Uh, and then night time, busy? Busier? Yes. yes. Yeah. Is it, are you... People, uh, is this your shop? Yes. Durian? No, this is not my shop, my ah. work. Oh, you're working? Yeah, yeah. 
It is durian, right? Yes, durian. And how much is one? Uh, this one, one kilo, 85, 55, 45. Difference, ah. difference. Yeah. Okay. It's too, good, eh? too stinky. <laughs> stinky. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Nice to meet you. <laughs> he was a kind guy. I've watched the videos from Bangladesh. But over here I saw a coconut man. But he's gone now. He's disappeared. But yeah, so what's the time now? It's around... Uh, what is it? 2.20pm 2, 2 at the moment. So maybe in an hour or two that place starts popping off a bit. So I have to go somewhere in the meantime. How are you? How are you going? Yeah, in YouTube. Thank you. Just now I saw you. Yeah. Okay, just so you come and drink. Okay. What are you what are you eating? Just uh Hey, how are you going? I'm Luke. Good. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you. What do you want to drink tea, coffee? Sorry? What do you want to drink tea, coffee? Yeah, yeah, chai. Tea? Chai? Chai? Yeah. 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 I'm, all right. I'm from Silet, you know. Oh, Bengali. Are you, are you all from Bangladesh? Yeah, we are all from Bangladesh. He's nice. from Silet, I'm from Rajshahi. Where? Rajshahi. Uh, near near Silet? I am from Nokali. Very nice to meet you. How are you? Sorry? No, he just told me, I think he's a Silet. I saw his video yeah. with Nadel. Yeah, Nadel. With Nadel, with, uh, yes. I saw in Silet. Yeah. Especially it's my hometown in Silet. London is for London is for. Yes. You have lived there for long? I'm here in Malaysia, it's 11 years. Oh, 11. Wow. What do you do for work? Just working outside. Yeah. Nice city. What do, what do you recommend? How long you are you in, in Malaysia? I just arrived yesterday. Oh, yesterday. I thought you came from Bangladesh directly? Or? Uh, no, no. Bangladesh, I was there like a month ago. Month, yes. But uh, yeah, I came from <laughs> Australia. Uh, you want drinks cool or you want to buy... Maybe a... Uh, yeah, cha, cha. Cha. I have ordered. Thank you very much. So you guys are you living... less sugar? No, more sugar. <laughs> <laughs> So you guys are, um, you are living here as well? Yeah, yeah everybody is here, yes. Very cool. Bin Tan. Bin yes, and this is the more famous place. Okay. Yes, in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. And especially at night. If you yeah, walk, it's walking distance busy. Here, yes, very busy. You cannot walk this distance. What about yeah. the... Yeah, you can do that side, the John, our side. That yeah, what, what, I tried walking down, but it is like, uh, like not busy. Yeah, like, um, what time does it open? It's after around five, uh, after ah, five or after six o'clock. Okay. Okay. It will be more crowded that yeah. side. Alright, I'll chill and then go over. Five to six minutes to spend. Just to in walk. the street? Yes. Yeah. It's a very straight in the middle. And this is the, the call is the Chankat. It's Chankat. At night time, especially it's an uh, open bar, everything. The wow. Yes. You must visit this there. Like yeah, it's just this, just this way. Especially that this uh, in Bukit Bintang, especially what you say, is like very busy area. It's a very famous place. In Bukit yeah. Bintang. And yeah. So do you do you live nearby? No, we are living in Kondo. Oh, just up there. Yeah. You're in the best place, Bukit Bintang. <laughs> Yeah, so you, you know everywhere here, yeah, the best yeah. places. We know in Kuala Lumpur, yeah. of Kuala Lumpur. Nice. We stayed in this place more than 10 years. Wow, <laughs> in, in the same, up yeah, the same apartment? Same place, yeah. Wow. We love this so place. you guys are friends or? Yeah, yeah. 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 Did you meet in B Bangladesh or you meet here? Yeah, here. here. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It's a long time we are friends here. It's like six, seven years, eight yeah. years. Yeah. Wow. How much does Chuck cost? Here, it's not Three much ringgit. Three ringgit. Yeah. It, in, ba in Bangladesh, it's like one ringgit. <laughs> less. <laughs> less, less, uh, less than one ringgit. Fifty cent, maybe fifty yeah. cent. Yeah. Fifty cent. Combat is ten taka. All right. Everywhere. Thank you very much. All right, everybody. We got the char. Did you you make it? Yes. So it's best one. Oh, well, do you come here often? Yes. So it's, like it's, it's, so yeah. it's <laughs> they have they have good chop. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see. You must try. Oh, That's nice. very nice. Thank you. Oh, that's delicious. I forgot. I forgot how to say delicious in uh, in Bengali. How do you say? Shushadu. 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 Shushad
for a million or something. It's super warm. Not exactly what you'd think you'd be drinking on a hot day and humid day here in Malaysia, but it is a, a nice refreshing drink just to have and have a little sit down because we've been walking for a while. It's starting to get hot, so I might chill here for a bit, roam a little bit more and then get over to that food street. They say it opens around 5 to, to 6 p.m. So that'd be good. What are the best places in Malaysia to visit? Langkawi. Langkawi, that's the island near yes, near Penang, Penang, right? Yeah, not Penang. You have to go in Penang first. Yeah. Penang is just nearby, not so far. It's within four or five hours, you can reach in Penang. And then you catch a boat uh, to Langkawi? Uh, no, no, no. You, you can, can, you can to go but directly by flight. Flight. Ah, flight. Yes. Kuala Lumpur to Langkawi directly. Two hours. Uh -huh. It will be better for you. And it's nice beaches there. Very nice. nice. Yeah. yeah. Langka. And then you have to go Cameron Highland. Then Genting Highland, yeah, like, like mount, all mountain Island, side. Mountains, yeah. Genting Highland, especially just not too far from here. Traveling, I do within one hour you can reach in okay. Genting Highland. Yeah, you must be going Genting Highland first because in casino in Asia, I think it's the biggest casino. casino. Yeah, really in the yes, high, in, in the... Asia is number one in Malaysia. Wow. This have you been? Have you won one money? Yeah, of course. And, uh, you you a million, millionaire now? No, 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 I'm not going to be a millionaire. But this year is a really, really, when you saw the money, oh, mm. amazing. They is like you make a decoration, big money they put it inside. Yeah. So wow. people is uh, traveling there, everybody can see the Malaysian rich mm. is here. And casino is too big. Wow. I don't think so. One day people can make finish on that. Wow. Because in Asia, Island number one. Uh, the beach then Pirhantian Iceland or Tioman Iceland, wow, best. What beach about the like... Water is the very nice. Yeah. And what about Borneo, like Sabah? Have you have you been to Sabah? Sabah, no. no. But Sabah, Sabah, Kota, Kinabaru, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Kota, it's nice. Kota, yeah. 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 But Sabah is quite far from... Uh, yeah, it's like very it's, yeah, big flight, right? Yeah, big flight. Yeah. Long flight. I think it's three hours, three and a half an hour. It's like... Wow. Uh, here by Malaysia to Bangladesh, it's like uh -huh. well, that's three fun. hours. Yeah. Is uh, flight like from Malaysia to Bangladesh is like that. So, what would you recommend, Langkawi? It's Langkawi. Highland. Yeah, Highland. No need to go far to pass. It's Langkawi. Can go by beach then uh, Langkawi. Langkawi. And is Protic Sun is very near. The what? Protic Sun. Protic Sun. Protic Sun. That's also beach. Okay. Also but beach. It's nearby. It's uh -huh. Very near. And Malacca. You have to go Malacca. Malacca also very nice uh, tourism area. Yeah. Especially. This is few places. Yeah. This is famous place in Malaysia. Yeah, there's so many places to visit and they all look amazing. Especially in nearby, you just go first. Make it finish to the new everything. It's like it's Malacca. Yeah. Then Genting Island, Potixon. These are very nearby. This is within one hour. Two hours can reach. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Suppose if you want to go to the beach, you want to see the beach. Suppose uh, you go is, uh, out from here is a uh, three o'clock or four. Hey, old vlogger. Hi, sir. Very no, nice I'm to meet just, you. Uh, just a new camera, just trying. Oh, you're just trying. Yeah. Very nice. What one? Yeah, it's Eleven. Eleven? Uh, it's a nine. Oh, nine. I haven't budget. Yeah, it looks looks good. <laughs> <laughs> have a budget. We can vlog each other. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> I know it. Look, come on, thing. You are very popular in Bangladesh. Oh, thank you very much. Everybody I like saw it. all of your vlog almost. Thank you. Are you are you, are you living in Kuala Lumpur? Or yeah, we're living in. Oh. Are you guys you guys know each other? Your friends? I uh, know. I haven't. First time. Yes. Very nice. This is a place I'm very popular actually. Yeah. Yeah, so this is all Bengali food, is it? Yes. I'm a, I'll go have a quick look. So like in Malaysia, I've noticed whether it be like Malaysian food or Chinese food or Indian food, they have like a lot of buffets kind of just like this and you come in and get a plate and then you kind of just like serve up whatever you want. So you've got all kinds of things in here. I remember actually having this stuff at uh, uh, Panch Bai in Salet. So I can't, remember, I can't remember the names of it, but that looks really familiar. And there's just so many like different alternatives. It's like we got potato and some kind of meat in there. We obviously got the rice and the biryani and then, oh, what is that? Lobster, fish, very nice. And then probably some uh, Bengali sweets. 
in here as well. So, uh, plenty of things to eat, but we're gonna save ourselves for the moment because we're gonna get to this food street later on and have an absolute uh, feast over there. What about in Malaysia? You can bargain hard? Uh, yeah, it's can bargain. Some of the place, not, not, on, not place. on some of the place. Are they, are they good at bargaining? <laughs> yeah, you can do. And just now, China I'm talking Chinatown. about the Chinatown. Yeah. Then Pasar Malam, this is called, is like, you cannot find it here. Pasar Malam. Yeah, it's a bit far, it's like, uh, what call is uh, Kampung, they call it Kampung. Village. Kampung village is a market. village, it's uh -huh. night market. Yeah. Then you can buy it. So a lot of things are night time. Night time, yes, especially in Malaysia. Yeah. Yeah. After After six six o o I think uh, the night market should be a new thing for you. Yeah. Yeah. Black blocks. They sit on a special place, not Stay every day. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, like an empty street, they will yeah. gather around every one, twice, twice in a week or once in a week. Everybody go there, buy yeah. their things. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. After six, you will see the... Yeah, after six. Okay, I'll go back. Yeah, you cannot buy anything. Yeah, it's fixed, fixed price. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna go walking and, and make some more videos. But thank you. Okay. I'll um. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no, no. no, no. Here is no voice. Uh, just is. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Really appreciate you. Nice. <laughs> nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. Maybe I see you on YouTube. Cheers. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you very much. Cheers, guys. Have a great day. What a friendly bunch of chaps. See you. Much needed recovery char, and uh, the legs are arrested. So let's get on with it, and we'll see what else we come across moving uh, through the streets here in Bukit Bintang. All right, everybody, so a slight change of plans from the last clip that you saw. Yesterday afternoon, it just started pissing down with the rain, which is a common theme here at this time of year in Kuala Lumpur. It's usually really warm and hot during the daytime, like it is right now, and in the afternoon, the thunderstorms start coming in. So, unfortunately, the, uh, the food street, Jalon Alor, in, uh, in the other part of town that we were at, uh, wasn't the best place to be because it was just so rainy and stuff like that. So. I'm out here in the morning now and we're going to be exploring uh, just around this area. I'm going to go grab a bite to eat because I'm pretty hungry. It's around 11 a.m. and uh, we'll explore this area. There seems to be a couple of street food places down there, a couple of places over there, and we'll see what we get ourselves into for the rest of the day. Should we go down the lift or the stairs? Uh, stupid question. Level one. Alright, see you at the bottom. Oh, look at the beautiful view that we have behind me of the Twin Towers. There are just so many points around the city, whether it be on like sky bars or different hotels or parts of the street where you can just have amazing experiences. Seeing these, uh, these beautiful Twin Towers, they just skyrocket over the rest of the city. But this is kind of like a residential area. So I guess we'll explore around. Seems to be a big kind of mall or something over there. But we'll keep walking down here and see if we can find ourselves a bite to eat. Wow, look how cool this area is. Nice little bunch of restaurants and stuff like that. But something has caught my eye, everybody. Across the road, look at this. The Roti Sanai and I saw the word cheese. Hello. How are you going? Apakawa, good? Do you have a cheese paratha? Roti cheese? Yes. You have? With with cheese inside? Inside cheese. Ah. Fish. Oh fish. What about uh, fish. cheese? Cheese? Yeah. Roti sardine, roti sardine. I don't I don't want. Oh it's roti sardine and cheese. Yes. Can you do roti cheese? No 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 sar no sardine? No sardine. Yeah yeah yeah. One please. Uh, I'll have here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. We're getting cheese paratha okay, here. Drink. No drink, thank you. So this is the roti. Okay, is oh, and we got. Uh huh? Australia. Australia. You're you're from? Australia, my brother. Ah, really? <laughs> Very nice. All right. Can't believe we're getting cheese paratha. Let's see if it lives up to the expectations that I've had in Islamabad. 
So this is a uh, ghee? So o oil? Oil? No, it's oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very good. No, no, no. Oh, look, so he whips it around like this. Gets it all stretchy, thinned out. Wow. That takes skill. Oh, look how thin it gets. Oh my goodness. Get the cheese in there. A little bit of butter. All on the edges. Folds it on. And then just like that, we have our cheese proctor, everybody. Hello. Are you a YouTuber? Yeah, vlogger. <laughs> Set. Yeah, recording. I'm shooting. Yeah, recording. recording. Yeah, yeah. I'm making cheese paratha. Hello. Hello. Where Hello. Where are you from? From Japan. Ah, oh, very good. Japan. From Bangkok to Singapore. Ah. Yeah. Nice. You were eating here? Sorry? You were eating? 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 Food? Food? Ah, uh, I ate. Ah, oh, okay, durian. okay. Oh, durian? Yes. Oh. Alright. Let's see what's going on in the land of cheese paratha. So, it's crisping up like that. You can see the cheese starting to melt in there. Take out, take out. But, oh, well, I'm excited. From? Australia. Australia? Yeah. Brisbane? No, Sydney. 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 Yeah, oh. Sydney. How long is that? Uh, like three, we three weeks. Three weeks in yeah. Malaysia. Yeah. Maybe yeah. go to Penang, Sabah, and Kuala Lumpur. Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. Oh. Just touring. Yeah, yeah. Traveling. Yeah. Making videos. Video. Oh, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So I'm glad we have the option of not getting sardines in there because I hate fish. And uh, I'm sure the tinned can of fish that's just been sitting there getting flies all on it isn't going to be the best of tasting things, but look at that crisp up. So one side is done. And how much is it? Ah, oh, 550. Oh, you can even get it with eggs. Or the Rotti Sunai Special. Very good. I can't believe we've found cheese paratha, everybody. Or cheese roti. This is crazy. Thought I would only be able to find this ever in Pakistan. So lots of people are just eating here and I've noticed with a lot in Malaysia, similar to that Bangladeshi restaurant that I was at yesterday, they just have things like open on the side so you kind of just pay and it's like an all-you-can-eat buffet. You just go in and select the things that you want, whether you want fish, chicken, beef, mutton, whatever it is. Or you can get the a la carte menu where you have the cheese parathas and all the goodness. Oh, they are starting to crisp up so good. Look how good that looks. Yeah, you are. YouTube, yeah, yeah. YouTube name. The Luke, Luke Demant. Travel with. Yeah, Luke, Luke Demant. Oh, wow. Thank <laughs> you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nice. What, is your, what is your name? My name? Yeah. My name is Yuki Watanabe. Oh, very nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Should be finished pretty soon. It is hot out here. We may have to grab like a coconut later on or a fresh juice to cool ourselves down. It looks so good. All right. All right, hopefully it doesn't fall on the floor. You're a big YouTuber. <laughs> big YouTuber. Big YouTuber. <laughs> yeah. Maybe small, small. Small. <laughs> 100, over 100 subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> I, was I was surprised. <laughs> surprised? You were yeah, shocked? Very, very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. All right, here's the cheese paratha, everybody. Okay, thank you. All right, everybody. Here we go. Can't believe it. I found cheese paratha here in Kuala Lumpur. This could be one of the greatest days of my life, everybody. So we got some kind of, I think, samba here, kind of a liquidy topping. And of course, 
We got the cheese paratha. Super hot and oily, just the way that I like it. But God, it's been so long since I had cheese paratha, everybody. I can't even remember the last time, but oh, it is so hot. But let's. Ooh, hoo -hoo. That is boiling. <laughs> All right, one second, everybody. We're gonna have to wait a bit. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, shall we? I want to fix the. Yeah, okay. Cheese. Very good. Together. Checking. Good? Yeah. Oh, good. perfect. Oh, thank, thank you very, you very much. much. Thank you. Yeah. Alright guys, so it's cooled down a little bit. Let's rip off a piece. Now the cheese, you can see, oh it's hot. But it's kind of like that plastic cheese that they have in that uh, plastic film, but you can see it in there. Let's get a big bite and have our first cheese paratha in God, a very long time. And our first cheese paratha here in Malaysia. That brings back amazing memories. Nothing better than fried, crunchy, roti, crunchy paratha with cheese in the middle. Like there's literally not a better combo in this world. But you can see here, we got the cheese all in there, kind of melted. And I just love how crispy these edges are. Just listen to the crisp of that when it comes ripping off the plate. Oh. Wow. Oh. That was a cheesy bit. Man. That is so good. Oh. And you know what? With the cheese parathas that I had in Pakistan, the portion sizes were quite small. We've already had half of this and it's still taking up the full plate. And here we got the real kind of rotty bit. Crispy on the outside, gooey on the inside. Just the way it should be. Oh, listen to that crisp. All right. I'll try a little bit of this uh, this mix that we have here. I think it's samba. I haven't had this with cheese paratha before. But let's see what it's like. Oh yeah. Not like a really strong taste, but it just adds a tiny little bit of extra flavor. But I think it's better, a cheese paratha, just on its own just like this. All right. <laughs> Perfect way to start the day here in Malaysia. Yum. This is just good. Now, you're probably wondering, does it live up? For the ones I've had in his own but uh, quite to try. Well, I don't think there'll ever be ones that are better than the ones at F7 in his Lumberbud, but it does taste really good. The only downside I would have is the cheese. The cheese tastes good, but you can tell it's kind of that fake plasticky cheese that a lot of burger chains use. So you don't get the the real cheese experience like they have in quite a try where they just like grab it out of the block. I don't even know what cheese they use there, but last little bite here. And that is the perfect way to start breakfast in the morning. <laughs> all right, we'll leave all that behind, tuck in our chairs. Boss, thank you very much. No change, you keep. Thank you very much. <laughs> Have a great day. Thank you. All right, nice to meet thank you. you. Nice See you. Friendly guys, friendly cook, and the perfect way to start the breakfast with a cheese paratha. Let's go get a drink.
this street here just behind like the main KLCC area is just so vibrant like it's pretty early in the morning I can imagine at night time it just absolutely pops off but it's beautiful with all the trees kind of going on the left and right side plenty of shops and eateries to have food at but it's just like oh look at this like cool little area what is this stable kitchens the stable burger this is a massive eatery it looks really cool but it looks awesome oh look at this dutch mini pancake it's a shame that they're not open because i would have loved that after a cheese paratha mm, that was so good i can't believe i found cheese paratha here in kuala lumpur that is just not what i was expecting so just to the left of me everybody is actually the second tallest building in the world it's over near the central market part of town in, in Chinatown which is about a 15 minute drive from here but yeah it's the second biggest it's still in the process of being built and it's uh just one under the Burj Khalifa which I've spent a lot of time oh filming something how are you going uh, I'm always watching your videos thank you so much I'm making a video right now L l l don't 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 take my picture lah. <laughs> I I'm very shy. Camera shy. <laughs> I'll keep I'll keep it on me. No, last time you were in uh, Egypt. Oh yeah, a while ago, like maybe one last, year. Oh, last time where, where you been? I was in Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Yeah. Oh, how's Bangladesh? Okay. Yeah. Uh, is it uh, food's okay? Yeah, food is good. Oh. Uh, now, now your video new. Yeah, yeah. From Bangladesh. Make, yeah. New release. Yeah. Release already. Yeah. Oh, I want now, to now in Malaysia. Luke the man, right? Yeah, Luke the man. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. I'm, uh, what are you? Where are you from? Malaysia? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I am from Malaysia. I live here. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, this is Kampung Baru. Kampung Baru. This Ka is Kampung Baru. Uh, Kampung Baru. New village. New village. Yeah. yeah, it's very um popular. Like lots of street food. The only Kampung, only village uh, in the middle of Kuala Lumpur. Wow. Oh. Down under. You're down under, mate. <laughs> So, nice to meet you. Nice Mike. to meet you. Have a great day, uh, all right? <laughs> we'll meet again someday. Yeah, hopefully. Okay, yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> See you. <laughs> Friendly little chap. He recognized me across the street. He's like, hey, you're Luke Dement. Anyways, let's go get a drink somewhere. So he was saying this is the only residential village in KL, or like in the city. And it does give that vibe, you know, like around here, as I was saying before, there's Lots of like trees and lots of like little homes and houses. Look at the view that we got here, it's just incredible. Each and every time. I think we actually walked down the street beforehand. So we'll go, uh, oh yeah, that's where the, the rotty place was. We'll go down here and have a little stroll, see if we can uh, find something. But look at that view. The Patronus Twin Towers, and that's my hotel, the W Hotel. It's like a big block. <laughs> Looks really cool. Here we go. This seems to be the juice man. Hello. Do you have juices? Uh, do you have menu? Menu? Menu. Yeah. Well, it looks like we got banana, apple, what are those oranges? And mango, I think. Or oh, pineapple. That'd be a nice one. Pineapple. I think he's grabbing the menu. Oh, what's that pink drink? Perfect. Thank you. What do you think? Yes, you want. Hi there. Yeah, I uh, wanted a drink. What is the pink one that everybody is drinking? Uh, it's here. We call it syrup. Syrup. Is it syrup? Can I? Here. Can I see? Ah, this one. Oh, it's mixed with. Oh, they mix. Uh, okay, yeah. Awesome. How much is one? Um, uh, forty. Okay, I have one, please. Ah, satu. Tidak banyak. Mangku akap. Very good. So he will he will make in here. Yeah. Can I see? Yes. Oh wow. All right. So he adds that. He adds some. Condensed milk, it seems. And then all that. Oh, I think this is something that I've had in India before. 
but it tastes kind of like candy floss. Oh, whoa, he's adding like hot water to it all. And then mixes it all up. Wow, look how pink it is. <laughs> and then a lot of ice. Very good. Look how pink this is. Oh, it's okay, no need. Oh. Great. Ah, oh, straw. Great. Okay, thank you. Alright, I'll uh, sit over here. Here we go. So, this is the pink candy floss drink. He said it was called serum, I think. But I saw people they were all having it on that table over there. And of course, when something this is this bright pink, it's gonna catch your eye. But this just looks absolutely salivating. Look how pink and clear it is. Put this away. Alright. Let's just look how pink this is. Like this just catches the attention of everybody. I'm surprised they actually don't have it more on show because I'm sure if anyone was walking across and saw this on a hot day, you can see how much I'm sweating. This would be the perfect drink. So let's see if it tastes anything like the one that I had in India. It kind of tastes like flowery and candy flossy, but let's see. Mmm, it tastes the exact same. It kind of like, tastes like flowery and like cotton candy at the same time. It's like got the most unique taste ever. And I remember I had this exact one with watermelon in it in Old Delhi. When that little kid uh, told me that it cost 20 rupees and then he was trying to charge me 100 rupees and then the old lady next to me had to pay only 20 and he tried to uh, get an extra buck out of the tourist buck. Full ringgit for this, this is around like a dollar, just under one US dollar. And it's the perfect way to cool off in the hot sun. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Literally, you can just see how much I'm sweating from walking around. And it's not even that hot yet. I think it's still an hour or two away from being the hottest part of the day. But this one, yeah. I don't actually know how to explain it. Let me see if there's uh, any articles. So here I'm reading that Syrup Bandung is a popular drink in Southeast Asia and it's made of like rose syrup. And that's why I was saying it tastes like flowers, like literally a rose. If you were to eat a rose, not that I've ever eaten a rose, but think about eating a red rose, that is the taste that you would be getting if you drank out of this. But it's mixed with condensed milk and then flavored rose syrup, which gives it the pink color. But they also have green ones here. So there's all kinds of, mostly pink, but this one had a, had a green one and sometimes you get whipped cream on top, sometimes you get ice cream on top, but this is just so refreshing on a hot day here in Kuala Lumpur. And then four ringgit, 87 US cents. For this drink, can you imagine, like anywhere else in the world, or like even in Australia, for example, this would be sold for like six or seven dollars. <laughs> if you go to a, a cafe there, I paid upwards of like ten dollars for fruit drinks in Australia before. But here, yeah, less than a dollar for this. It's just so affordable and probably ten times more delicious. Such a good drink. Alright, let's pay and we'll finish this off on the road. I just want to pay for this one. Oh, okay, that's fine. You can keep the change. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> All right. 
Let's hit the road. Look at this little guy, little squirrel. Look at him. Jumping. Now he's gone. <laughs> Alright guys, finished the drink. Look at my tongue. <laughs> it's super pink. But uh, we're heading back to the Patronus Twin Towers. We'll cross a along that boardwalk there. But we're gonna finish up the video here, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. It's been awesome being here in Kuala Lumpur and there's gonna be plenty more videos here across Malaysia to come. So I'm excited to visit all the different places in Penang, Langkawi, Sabah, the East Coast, all those different places. So thank you for watching. As always, chase your dreams and we'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.